At first glance, a Canva doc doesn't look that different from, let's say, a Google doc or even a Microsoft Word online document. But there's two big reasons that you may want to use Canva docs. The first one is the ability to add any Canva design to your document. And the second is the feature that I'm going to show you right now called Magic Write. If you hit the plus button, you can add magic by accessing Magic Write. Magic Write is a feature in Canva Docs that was built on GPT-3, the same technology that's been in the news recently for ChatGPT. And what that allows you to do is to use artificial intelligence to generate a little bit of text. So I'm going to start by creating this document on Canva Docs. I'm going to select Magic Write, and I'm going to choose this prompt, write a catchy title for a document on how to use Canva Docs. Okay, now you can see at the bottom, it shows that this was generated. Here is my title, Canva Docs for the Creative Soul. We will take this text. I'm just going to take this and add this where my prompt currently is. I can format this by using the panel above, make it a little bit bigger. And now I have my title. Okay, so next what I can do again, go to Magic Write. And now what I'm going to do is to have Magic Write write an intro paragraph. So I'm just going to take my title and copy it. And next I'm going to go to the bottom. I'm going to choose Magic Write again. So now I'm going to ask Magic Write to write an intro paragraph for this document. There it is. I'm just going to clean up the formatting and now I have my intro paragraph. This time I'm going to ask it to write five ways that teachers and students can use Canva Docs. And there we go. I now have those five suggestions that were generated automatically through Magic Write. And now my final question is going to be, where can students learn more about Canva Docs? And now at the bottom, I'm going to add another design. And just like that, I have my document on Canva Docs that was created entirely through artificial intelligence. Now, one thing I want to make clear is that there is a limit to how much text Canva's Magic Write can generate. I believe that when it was creating, I believe that when Canva was creating this program, it set a limit to 500 characters. So I don't think that you'll be able to have Magic Write generate a full essay for you. It's not going to work like that. But if you're stuck with writer's block or you can't think of an idea, you may consider using Magic Write to generate some content for you to then build and enhance upon. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to use Canva Magic Write inside Canva Docs. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment area below. And if you like this content, feel free to subscribe to my channel where I hope to add more content in the coming months.